We'll soon have a brand new exhibit all about the 140 year history of the iconic bat. Sam Carter is live at the Slugger Museum in downtown Louisville with more. Hey, Sam. Yeah, that new temporary exhibit is called The Brilliance of Bats, and I'm standing in the middle of it right now. One of the key features of it is this wall right behind me that features 140 of the famous or otherwise notable bat designs Slugger has done. And one of the cool features of it is they have a little book here where you can look at a bat and then find it in this book. Here to talk to us about it and feature one of these cool bats is Andrew Saladay. Saladay, excuse me. Um, Andrew, my eye is immediately drawn to this pink one, which yeah. you can easily find on the wall behind us right there. Tell us a little bit about it, because somebody could just read all about it in this cool little like pamphlet. You guys yeah, absolutely. That's one of the great features we have about Brilliance of Bats that really talks about that 140-year journey of the Louisville Slugger. In 2006, like you just said, the pink bat, that's when we started our initiative with Mother's Day weekend, which which is coming up just as a reminder. Don't for freak everyone. out like I did just now. Right, it's coming. Right, got some right. time. We'll be doing a lot on that. But if you come around, one of the really cool parts of this exhibit is some of these bats, like the one we showed you. Some of them, this one, used and signed by one Mr. Ken Griffey Jr., yeah. is on display. And it does a thing that we've been talking about all morning. It connects people. It, it sure does. And you know, with Ken Griffey Jr. especially, and the idea of Mother's Day, I mean, people. People make a uh, tradition out of going to Mother's Day weekend games for the MLB so neat. or just some level, level of Mother's Day that everyone's uh, attached to at some level, uh, one, one form or another. It's so cool. And this is just one of the kind of many interactions that they've made here for this Brilliance of Bat exhibit. It is a temporary exhibit, uh, termination date, TBA. But uh, it opens formally this Thursday, where they're throw where Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory throwing themselves a big birthday bash. It also happens, coincidentally enough, mm -hmm. to coincide with Major League Baseball's okay. official opening day. Fancy that. Talk a little bit about the event, because it's going to be a cool time. Yeah, absolutely. So this Thursday, uh, we're going to be uh, celebrating, kicking off that 140th anniversary for opening day. So the first 500 people who come in that day are going to get an exclusive pennant uh, with that 140th uh, anniversary logo on it. We're going to be handing out special mini bats. We're going to have inflatables for the kids to play on. We're going to be cooking hot dogs. So many hot dogs. Vegan <laughs> hot dogs. You name it, Buddy Bat's going to be there. It's going to be a lot of fun in, in our theater. We're going to be showing a, a, the afternoon game that's playing that oh, day. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, so we're going to be doing a whole lot of things. We're going to have the Hillerick family out here signing mini bats as well. And, of course, we're releasing our bourbon, Timeless Timber, uh, right next door at Barrels and Billets, our sister attraction. So. And there's a lot. We, we're, we're not a limited gonna, number we're, will be signed yeah. by the Hillary family yeah. as well. A very, very Absolutely. cool thing. It's the brilliance of bats. You can come celebrate it Thursday here at the Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory. You got to get me one of those pennants. Sure do. Absolutely. I'm excited about that. Got to be a lucky one to get one of those pennants, and you can never have enough mini bats, Matt. I mean, one for every occasion at the Slugger Museum, so this is just another great opportunity to add to the collection. I mean, even before I lived in Louisville as a kid, you know, I, I had them growing up.